Simon ties all the photographs together. Music. Without music, each scene shown would be lacking something. Some of the scenes would not even exist. These scenes allow you to remember the moments when you first heard them in a movie, a television show, or a concert. At times, music can even suggest visual images to you, connecting you further with the first time you experienced the music. Think, for example, about some of your favorite movies. Can you imagine watching them without hearing the music of the soundtrack? Hearing those themes probably causes you to remember how much you enjoyed the movies. Today's filmmakers spend a great deal of time selecting their soundtracks. As music can tell the story and explain the plot, filmmakers use it very carefully to build the tone and mood of a film. Also, music is used to expose feelings of characters, actions, tangents, and even horror. Music can create a convincing atmosphere for the situation and can turn a good film into a great one. We cannot imagine our favorite classic movies without an inspiring soundtrack. Without the soundtrack, it would be very difficult to portray the emotional ups and downs of a film, scare the audience in a horror scene, and help the audience relate much better with the emotions being portrayed on screen. On the other hand, the rousing soundtrack can not only make a scene more interesting, but it also connects the audience to the characters and their situations. There was once a time when movies didn't include any audio, only music. Before talkies or movies where audiences heard the characters' spoken words, there were silent films. The audience followed the action on screen as it was accompanied by music and periodic subtitles that described the action. Charlie Chaplin was one silent film actor whose name and work you may find familiar. In 1927, the jazz singer transformed the silent film industry by becoming the first movie to match actors' moving lips to their voices. In 1935, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences began awarding Oscars for music and film, and with good reason. According to the American Society of Composers, Authors, and Publishers, ASCAP, there are three types of music found in films. One, songs that already exist. Two, songs written specifically for a certain film. And three, underscores. Existing songs can effectively set a film during a certain time period by using recognizable songs from a specific era. Catchy original songs can become as popular as the movie itself. An underscore is the music that plays in the background during a scene. You may not even notice it's there, but next time you turn on your television, try to imagine a scene without the underscore and you'll realize how important it is. How many times have you heard a particular tune and immediately associated it with a certain movie? Jaws maybe? Star Wars? Frozen? All of these films have iconic songs or instrumental tunes associated with them known as scores. A film score is original music written specifically to accompany a film. The score comprises several orchestral, instrumental, or choral pieces called cues, which are timed to begin and end at specific points during the film in order to enhance the dramatic narrative and the emotional impact of the scene in question. Scores are written by one or more composers under the guidance of or in collaboration with the film's director or producer and are then usually performed by an ensemble of musicians, most often an orchestra or band, instrumental soloists, and choir or vocalists, known as playback singers and recorded by a sound engineer. 
You can try and see for yourself. Play your favorite scene of a movie that you have seen. Mute the sound and see how do you feel about it without the music. You can also try out a new movie that you have never seen without the sound. Then put the sound on and watch the same scene again. Please feel free to comment below what did you watch and how did you feel about it without the music and with the music on. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Until next time.